Okay, so now let's uh, try another example. Um, with, uh, let's go back to almost um, a couple of weeks ago when we did the pulleys problems, right? So uh, we know how to calculate uh, the, the um, acceleration of this. So what was it? Uh, how do we do it before, right? So we went and say, hey, let's do the, let's do the, uh, the Newton second law for this guy and for this guy, right? So we can say, hey, the acceleration of, of this, but you select one way as, a, as positive. So let's say um, this way is positive, positive y, and um, you go, so the net force on three. Um, so this guy is, which way is gonna, gonna accelerate? So this guy's probably gonna go down, um, but the acceleration of three is gonna be negative of the acceleration of two, right? So because uh, this is this. So um, let's call this guy, right? So uh, this guy's, um, let's say A2, the acceleration of this is A and uh, A3 is minus A, right? So minus A3 is equals to A2 equals to A, right? So that means A2 is A, A3 is minus A. So that's sort of a lazy way to, to write uh, these two lines in one line. You probably have seen that before, okay? Um, yeah, and then you can plug in the numbers, right? So three, the acceleration is minus A, um, and the net force on three is uh, upwards is uh, positive. So um, tension and weight, uh, this is weight two, tension two, right? So like that, so tension minus uh, weight three, and then you set up the other and then you solve for, uh, you, you know, the weight is mg, et cetera, and then you can solve for A. But what we have neglected is we have said it's a massless pulley, but what if this is not massless? What if this guy has a mass m? Now, it takes a certain amount of torque to rotate this guy as well. So, um, so why is it? Let's draw the free body diagram of this guy. So this guy needs to be anchored somewhere, right? So um, for the free body diagram of the pulley, now we'll draw it because this is the, these guys move in one dimension um, in linear, right? But this guy rotates. So we'll need to draw the free body diagram, this guy, for this guy slightly more realistically. Um, just, uh, so we have tension on, um, so there's a rope, right? So this part of the rope is gonna pull the pulley, it's trying to rotate the pulley this way. This is the rotational axis, right? Like this, and let's say it has a diameter uh, a radius R, like this, capital R, capital M. So everything here is capital for the pulley, let's say, right? Um, and what's the relationship of the tension? it's going to be the same, right? So the, the rope, um, yeah, you can uh, stretch it out and um, compare that. So you have T on both sides like this. And uh, yeah, so now you can um, calculate uh, what, is, um, what is the net torque over here. So first of all, you need to know uh, what, the, uh, what the T is. So let's, let's finish this off, right? So, it's minus T, so this is M, M3, G, okay, so uh, T minus um, M3 is 3, so this is 30, uh, so here is minus 3A, and then the other, we have M2, A2, F net 2, so here we have 2A, and F net this time is also T minus W2, so I have T minus... 20, All right? So, uh, yeah, what do we have? So here, yeah, so that's 20, uh, good, so 2A. And uh, what do I want? I want the T, but looks like it's easier to calculate the A first. So um, I can, um, I can uh, add or subtract, subtract, let's subtract, right? So let's take uh, this one, let's call that equation one, equation two, and have one subtract two. So we'll have 5a on this side because 2a subtract negative 3a. And then we have this subtract this. So minus 20 subtract, so add 30. So that's 10. So a is 2, okay? So a is 2, what is t? Um, you can plug in either one. You can double check that you'll get the same answer. Uh, so a here is, so I can take, so I'll call this 3 and 3 substitute back into 1 we'll get two times two equals to t minus 20. So that gives t equals to 24. 
in 24 newtons. Okay, so, um, uh, yes. Okay. 